Да, Хорошо! This story begins in the coldest city in the world, Yakutsk, located in the far east part of Russia, where temperatures plummet to a bone chill in minus 70 degrees Celsius during the coldest months. This winter we traveled thousands of kilometers to immerse ourselves in the unique culture of Yakutsk. Our mission? To connect with the warm-hearted Yakutian people and to brave one of Russia's most exhilarating traditions, ice bathing. So join us as we delve into the depths of this icy wonderland. Good morning everyone! As the sun goes up, we are going to the beach in the coldest city in the world, Kutsk. Today is the day and we are going to take a nice bath. Yes, you heard it right. The beach, a nice bath and the morning power starts right now. <laughs> Meet Nikolai, the legendary ice man of Siberia. For half a century Nikolai has stuck to the same remarkable morning routine, immersing himself into the coldest of the ice baths every single day. Despite the harsh Siberian winters, Nikolai remains a picture of robust health and vitality, never succumbing to illness. But it wasn't always the case. As a young man, Nikolai battled frequent colds and illnesses. However, everything changed when a wise teacher imparted a life-changing piece of advice. Encouraged to embrace the cold, Nikolai was instructed to dose himself in ice-cold water, a practice believed to fortify the immune system. Taking this advice to heart, Nikolai incorporated ice exposure into his daily routine, a decision that would transform his life forever. Not only Nikolai never gets sick now, but he also dedicates himself to helping others achieve optimal health and well-being. Wow! I actually couldn't expect, but it's almost minus 40. Ah, Russian, Russian! I speak Russian, but I speak in English. My name is Nikolaev. I am today. I am living in city Yakutsk, coldest yeah. city in the world. Will you go to the Yes. No one is here. You are looking at yourself. You are burning. So. So traveling from the tropics, from plus 40 to minus 40. <laughs> Deep in Samara, it was minus 20. But I'm so curious how it's going to to be right now. Let's find out. Zakhdi. Не стесняйся. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Можем зайти. По крайней мере сейчас уже сделали тепло. Ого, ну не нормально, нормально, как суп. Это даже первый раз для меня гипотерапия. Тоже нырял в сурок. Там, в Марнауле? На Байкале он. На Байкале. Это уже иглотерапия для меня. Заходи, заходи. Как ты чувствуешь? Я чувствую, что это был первый. Акупунктура. Да, ну, прям, сорок отжимания тогда надо. Сейчас пойду. Я после вас. Мне нужно сначала посмотреть на настоящих моржей. Как ощущения? О! А, so we are ready. This is my turn. Let's go into minus 40 degree uh, ice bath. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now it's reality. Baby, baby, you are really hurting me. Cause every time
Okay, don't step here. Step, step in the shoes, in the shoes, in the shoes, in the shoes. No, no. <laughs> How are you feeling? Well, third day advance, hey. Greater boy. <laughs> A small heater here. Chopped wood. <laughs> I feel incredible drinking Ivan chai. Nikolai, сколько у вас последователей? В WhatsApp 50 человек сидит. Летние моржи, осенние, весенние. Ага, по сезонам, да. Это когда холодно становится, они прекращают. А есть еще бриллиантовые. Бриллиантовые? Которые каждый день? Каждый день. Каждый день. Ниже минус 50 покупают. Или сюда не заходят, там, там. Получаешь, что вот так поделаешь ага. холодным, ну как бы мышцы что ли там, потом кровь лучше поступает. Кист, чемпион, с легким паром. Спасибо. Ноги надо беречь. Да, да, да. А, да, да, да. Это мы. В Очень декабре интересно. ездили в Белоруссию. Группой? Да, вот на соревнования. Это соревнования на соревнования. Куда вообще в России традиция закаливания? Издали. Вот сейчас стал популярным очень метод, его называют Вимхов. Знаете а, такого? Нет. Его надо к нам сюда приехать. Да, да, поучиться. В шортиках 50 градусов. Можно уже хватит отморозить. And there is the head walrus, Nikolai. <laughs> Wim Hof, we're coming for you. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. It, it feels so incredible that I could do it. <sighs> the Baywatch is coming. To make sure that everyone is safe. Honestly, you get addicted to the sensation of cold. Today we're going to repeat the second day of the ice. Right. 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 The masters like me are going to change here. No, no, you, you, um, you must have more than that. How many years? Four years of this. Yes. Смотрите, радуга вокруг солнца. Серьезно? Голов. While everyone is working. Это самый древний инструмент мира. И по легендам вообще. Говорят, что первый инструмент хамус родился именно здесь, в Якутии. Да. Они оказываются лечащими. То есть человека энергетику устраивает именно в той нужной системе, которая должна быть. Во вообще в мире, наверное, нет женщин, которые в минус 50 купаются. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Все вышли. Да, 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 да. Сейчас прилипнет. Да. Сейчас прилипнет. Я моржиня. Я моржиня. Да. За всех девушек. Выступающим. Выступающим. О, хорошо. Жара, да? Головой. С головой. С головой было вчера. Ну ладно. За всех девушек. Поехали. 
О, ура! А, все, the second day, you did it. I was the last one, feeling amazing. The best feeling, feeling alive after a nice bath. Happy anniversary, my love. Love. Happy ten to your anniversary. Kiss ya. Don't stick to that. Be careful where, where you're touching. If you want, take take the shoes. Take the shoes because in case. This is a fairy tale. Today that we did it together with Anton. On our special day, 10 year anniversary, since we met each other, since God sent him to me, and grateful. Really, really grateful. There is an undeniable strength that accompanies the practice of ice bathing. The intense sensation of cold has a remarkable way of unlocking the inner reserves of light and power within us. After spending four unforgettable days in the coldest city on earth and immersing myself in ice water, I experienced a profound sense of peace like never before. In those icy depths, amidst the chill of Siberian air, I discovered a tranquility that transcended the physical discomfort. The cold seemed to strip away the layers of stress and tension, leaving behind a serene clarity of mind and spirit. Each plunge into the freezing waters became a moment of surrender, a release that left me feeling alive and invigorated in ways I never thought possible. Yes, this journey is more than just a series of experiences, it's a journey that I will carry with me always, a reminder of boundless beauty and wonder that awaits those willing to brave the unknown. <laughs>